Yo, what is going on, Clashers? Welcome back. Beaker here, doing another episode of the Trophy Pushing Series today. So we've made it almost to 4,100 trophies, but still, that is so far away from any of the leaderboards, even the top 200 US leaderboard. So we're going to keep going, guys, and see what we can do. No promises, though. Right here, we have a huge trophy base. This base offered 39 trophies, so you know when you see something like this, or it might have been 38, something really big like that. So when you see a base like this, you really, really have to go after it. And you have to make sure that you get the two stars. We don't want to squander this by getting a one star or even a zero star. I can't even think about that. So we're going to clear the left with one golem and a few wizards. Then we're going to put the rest on the right. Hopefully, they are going to go into the core. But look in the core. This guy has a surprise for us. He wasn't even in a clan, but he had clan castle balloons. And they are going to devastate my P.E.K.K.A.s. My P.E.K.K.A.s did jump into the core there, but they're basically already dead. Balloons, man. Balloons just liquefy ground troops like uh, King, Golem, P.E.K.K.A. B balloons love to destroy those because, you know, those kind of troops, they can't shoot back. So hopefully, you know, if that happens to you guys, hopefully your Archer Queen and your Wizards are shooting those balloons. So we did get the Town Hall. The King was barely able to hold on and get the Town Hall. So psyched on that because now the Archer Queen can easily clean up the rest of the base. With a few Archers and Minions, she is uh, going to have no problem securing the second star. I still had some Golems up front and that seems to happen with these... Uh, you know, raids where you have like four or five golems, your golems are going to survive a long time, and they should be able to tank for your archer queen so she can get the, the second star. You can't count on that, though. You do want to bring some archers and minions like I do. So, uh, pretty fun raid, I must say, guys. 25 trophies in the end, meaning it was almost a 40-trophy raid. What? <laughs> I mean, anytime you see those high 30s uh, trophies come up, you're like, what? Because it just doesn't happen. I mean, I might see that once a day, if that. Probably probably zero a day, most days. You know, most of the time, I'll see some raids that are like 15 to 20 trophies at most. So, here we have a perfect base to raid. The only problem with it is, you know, we have single infernos. But we're going to deal with that because we have some witches. I think we have three witches total, and those are really going to help to uh, distract those single infernos. So we're going to put a golem on the left side here just to take out some of those defenses, but our main entry point is going to be over on the right. We're going to have several golems in there with the heroes, wizards, and witches. And with a jump spell, we're going to be able to easily get into the core where all the magic is going to happen. So in the core, we have both heroes, those single infernos, and a bunch of other defenses. So, you know, it's going to take a while to get through that core, but we do have some serious heavy troops here. So I, I've been changing around my army a lot lately, and uh, I'll be honest, guys. In the past, I was a witch hater. I didn't use witches much uh, at Town Hall 10 at all. I mean, I always felt like they were just bomb bait, like they always ran into bombs. But lately, I've been trying them out using about two or three in a raid, taking out one P.E.K.K.A. instead, and they work in pretty good, I must say. I mean, they kind of shield for your wizards. You'll notice in the core now, my wizards are still alive. That has a lot to do with this base. It had a single Inferno, which isn't going to kill wizards as, as much. But the witches do seem like they shield for the wizards quite well. So we were able to get into the core here. It's going to be close, but it does look like the wizards will help take out the town hall with the Arch Queen. Now we just have to secure that second star with the 50%. Can we do it? This, again, was a pretty big trophy base. Um, not, not massive, but um, as I recall, it was a good base, and it was one that I could not fail on. You basically can't fail on any base when you are you know, above 4,000 trophies. Most of them, you're going to lose more than you stand to win. Uh, on this one, we have plenty of free buildings, and we do have some troops left. I had a giant and a wizard. Boom! Taking it out with two shots, 50%. There we go. Even was able to save one spell there, and, you know, that's pretty clutch, guys. When you can save a spell, uh, I mentioned this in my future ideas video. Oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. I misspoke. That was a massive, massive trophy raid. 28 for two stars. What? <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> that's a kind of base you do not want to get one star or zero star on. I mean, I would have never forgave myself if I couldn't get the 28 trophies from that for two stars. That's incredible. 
awesome. That really, really helped this out. As I was just saying, guys, if you can save one spell when you're trophy pushing, that's going to offer you such a huge advantage because as I was mentioning in one of my recent videos, spells, they take longer than everything else and you can't train them while you're searching for a raid. So save a spell if you can, you know, it's going to help you big time. Here, we've got an interesting raid and of course, you know, it's, it's strange to show defenses on my base because I have an outside town hall and people are easily going to beat me. But, you know, I thought this was a nice raid to watch. I enjoyed watching it because of the simplicity of this raid. This guy only has golems, wizards, and wall breakers. He literally has three troops. And I just love that. I mean, the simplicity of that is amazing. He made uh, pretty good entry points here. You'll notice three entry points, and that's pretty standard. Um, it was tough for him to get those side golems to get into the main compartment there because, you know, they had to go through two sets of walls. Looks like they're just going to hang on those outside walls. But the middle group here, look at them. Ooh, did you guys just see that? Like 10 wizards hit a bomb, but... Really, a lot of power in that central group here. Anytime you can keep wizards alive in a rage spell, they, they offer incredible damage. The other thing, I don't think this guy even had a lightning spell. He just took on my clan castle, just took it on. So pretty brave of him. Uh, looks like he was able to easily secure the two star, even if my town hall had been right in the middle there. I think he would have gotten it. You know, I mean, he he's made it to there and his Arch Queen has full health. So he definitely would have gotten it. So props to him. Great attack. Uh, I, I can really respect that attack. And again, three troops. It's like he's, you know, normally you look at the bottom bar there when I'm raiding and I got like a whole bunch of troops, whole bunch of spells. This guy has three troops. So awesome. In his clan castle, he had more wizards. So he's really keeping with the theme there. Almost, wow, he had like 30 wizards crazy four golems like 30 wizards i might try that someday stay tuned for that guys i might try that super simple wizard well i guess we're gonna call it a goey raid so guys that's gonna be it for today wanted to show you guys what i've been doing in the past couple of days hope you enjoyed it root for me as i try to get above 4100 it's getting pretty tough but i'm gonna make it guys so hope you enjoyed today if you did leave me a comment below and i will see you guys next time peace